Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. By virtue of the powers vested in me as the administrator, I hereby declare that this congregation of the Val University of Technology is duly constituted for the diplomas and degrees to be conferred on those students whose names appear on the program. Ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to observe a moment as we observe a prayer before we commence with the official program. Let us rise and pray. Dear Almighty, the Omniscient One, we come before you with all humility to serve you and your people. Please guide us in everything that we say and do. Bless each and every one of us and bless our institution. Inspire us to strive for that which is good and not to be self-seeking and serve our own interests. But let everything be done to your glory. Use us as your vessels of honor so that the fruit of our labor may endure for peace and goodwill towards all mankind. We ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you. Let us be seated. Welcome to virtual graduation ceremony of the Value Invest of Technology on the Van der Bell Park campus. Let me acknowledge our office bearers present today. Professor Iron Rensbeck, VUT Administrator. Dr. Dan Mukwena, Registrar. Professor Margaret Linnington, DVC Teaching, Learning and Student Support. Administrator, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to welcome you today to celebrate the achievements of our students at VUT. A special word of welcome to our distinguished guests, members of staff, families, and friends. To all diplomats and graduates, Welcome to this long-awaited day that culminated from all your hard work and sacrifice. Humbly so, I will now call upon the DVC Teaching Learning 
and student support to deliver the congratulatory address, Professor Lennington. Professor Owen Rensburg, Wit Administrator, Dr. Dan McQuena, Registrar, Professor Raymond Mabuza, Executive Dean Applied in Computer Sciences, Professor Durup, Executive Dean Management Sciences, Professor Peter Osifo, Executive Dean Engineering and Technology, and Dr. Lazarus Malejo, Executive Dean Human Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially diplomats and graduandi, good day. Congratulations, Ria Le Boha. I'm honored to deliver this congratulatory address to the qualifying class of 2020. I am humbled by your perseverance and your ability to overcome. 2020, by all accounts, was a difficult year in many ways. As a student, you were sent home to study. You overcame the challenge of studying remotely with poor connectivity, little data, lack of devices, and often a lack of skills to learn from home or remotely. You missed out on opportunities to play your chosen sport and maybe make the university netball and soccer team. You missed out on opportunities to discuss world events and the meaning of life. And I quote from a proverb, having a good discussion is like having riches. You missed out on many riches, but you overcame. You overcame the isolation and adversities and you are graduating today. I admire your efforts and your success. Congratulations. An Ashanti proverb states, a wise man who knows proverbs reconciles difficulties. In today's address, I thought I'd reflect on some of the aspects of COVID-19 interspersed with African proverbs to highlight a wisdom we might discover as, quote, knowledge without wisdom is like water in the sand. I think it's too early and we are still too close to the pandemic to really unravel lessons learned However, there are certain aspects that have really struck me in terms of our response to the pandemic. Firstly, and most importantly, the pandemic has brought out the best in people, but also the worst. But I would like to focus on the best. We are heroes when we have to be. We are all aware of the brave doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers who didn't go into lockdown who didn't put themselves first or their families first. We acknowledge at least 200 doctors, nurses and healthcare workers who have sacrificed their lives during the pandemic. We applaud all healthcare workers. I quote a Mali proverb, those who accomplish great things pay, pay attention to the little ones. We stand bold. In fact, we realize the people who used to grab the headlines are not actually important. It's not the tech giants, the celebrities, the sports stars that make the world go round, but rather the heroes include grocery store owners and workers, delivery drivers, farmers, and food supply chain workers who have attended their posts, done their jobs, and been bold and must be applauded for their contribution. I quote an Ethiopian proverb, great people have big hearts. We are brave. There are many people that saw the need of other people during lockdown and joined NPOs, NGOs, and other organizations to address this need. These people volunteered their time and their safety to get involved, especially in emergency community projects like feeding schemes and food parcels. We applaud the brave. Quote, where there is no, sorry, where there is love, there is no darkness. We are adaptive. The pandemic has impacted all our lives, but we have settled into a new way of living. Some have found their days relatively unaffected, but have dealt with isolation. Others have swapped the desk at the office for the desk at home. However, working from home has an impact on all household lives. The hours are longer, the line between home life and work life becomes blurred, and it's easy to suffer burnout. We reflect and adapt as, quote, there can be no peace without understanding. Many have been forced to sit at home with nothing to do, possibly become bored and frustrated, and have had to deal with the psychological impact of staying at home, losing their job, not being able to find work. 
reflecting on, quote, do not let what you cannot do tear from you your hands what you can, we have overcome and found alternative activities or income and have used this time to reflect on what we want as individuals. We applaud all those who have adapted and overcome the isolation, frustration, anxiety and depression the pandemic has caused. We have hope. A quote from a Congo proverb, no matter how long the day, sorry, no matter how long the night, the day is sure to come. We are creative and innovative. Apparently, our job losses due to COVID and the pandemic have pushed up our unemployment rate to an all-time high. As human beings, we are resilient. As I note from addressing you graduating today, However, I've also been struck by the amount of entrepreneurship that has resulted from the pandemic. Every radio station seems to have a slot or a focus on a small business. Two stories have struck me. Firstly, a pilot, and who would ever imagine that pilots would be amongst the unemployed, who started a business selling his famous bry marinade sauce. Who knows, he might become a millionaire and he might not, but he's managed to keep his family together and he's also employed others. Nearly all the stories of new startups or businesses that are surviving the pandemic, in one way or another, include employing others. For many, and not only in education, the lockdown has forced them to be innovative, to go online, to go digital. Last week, I heard of an online shopping mall for small businesses in Soweto. Only local SMEs in Soweto can be part of the mall and they can de deliver locally. The idea of a digital space where locals can support local is creative. It's a lovely blend of online and geographical space, meeting in what could be called blended geospace. I'm sure this concept might spark other blended geospace entrepreneurs in a similar way that Uber and Airbnbs have changed the market. As the Somalian proverb states, he who does not seize opportunity today will be unable to seize opportunity tomorrow. We are reflective. I'd like to share some comments made by teenagers on UNICEF's website about their experience, most of them between the ages of 14 and 16. We, are, we humans are fragile. By ourselves, our strength lies in being part of a community. It has taught us to listen, to care, to respect, and to help. It has taught us to learn to live life every day and choose the path we will take. It has taught us the importance of family and to appreciate what we have. We are flexible. Humans will need to rethink the way we live into the future. The Nilotic proverb teaches us, remember after the storm there will be a rainbow. The pandemic has taught us that everyone is vulnerable. The virus doesn't distinguish between rich and poor, the important and ordinary people, everyone is at risk, politicians, ministers, everyone. And I quote, the rain does not recognize anyone as a friend. It drenches all equally. You cannot escape the virus. Breathing is a blessing. It is true that youth does reduce your susceptibility, but there's the multi-system inflammatory syndrome that affects young children with COVID. And they suffer severe multiple organ failure. So even the youth, can be susceptible. I would like to congratulate each of you graduating, but I'd also like to congratulate your family, parents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, as well as your friends. Everyone who has supported you during your journey, whether the support was financial, physical, social, or psychological, they share your success. Quote, if I'm in harmony with my family, that's success. In closing, I would like to remind you that success is not a destination. It's a journey, a journey that probably ends when we take our last breath. On the journey, we will have many opportunities to stop and celebrate our arrival at a milestone. Today is one of those days. Celebrate the milestone of your graduation and take time to decide where the next part of your journey will lead. To run is not necessarily to arrive. Be brave. Be bold, be adaptive and flexible, be innovative, be reflective, but most of all, 
be a hero. Take others with you. And I quote, he who thinks he's leading and has no one following is only taking a walk. Please stay safe. Wear a mask, sanitize, social distance. And finally, I quote a Nigerian proverb, a person who is trampled to death by an elephant is a person who is blind and deaf. I thank you. Administrator, it is my honor to present to you candidates of the Faculty of Applied and Computer Sciences of the Val University of Technology, whose names appear on the program for the receiving of diplomas and degrees.
administrator. I thank you. And so by virtue of the powers vested in me as administrator, I now dissolve this congregation of the Vale University of Technology. Thank you.